um if you want i'm kind of thinking about it doing like and i know i'm putting my foot in my mouth doing this but doing a series for a and p for each section each body system and kind of like going over like how to study that specific body system or key things that would take a lot of work it would take me actually studying a and p again which i really should because i mean you should always just have that information in your mind so i might do it perhaps maybe it could be helpful for you all and helpful for me since i'm gonna be starting art or in school hopefully next year after i push this baby out um so anywho but basically what i like about this is that it gives you a visual it gives you um different explanations because usually when you do lab what they want you to do is identify photographs or identify um models and it's like an arrow on like what is this part of this what is this and this and that so it's really good to have visuals because usually lab exams or quizzes are very visually oriented and they want you to identify certain parts and then also um you just talk about as much as you can so we got how to repair it and then the conduction so this is like a mini like idea of seeing looking at the nervous system all on one sheet of paper like i said put it in your sleeve your plastic sleeve keep it in your binder carry it around so it doesn't get all nasty and wet keep it in here these sleeves are cheap you can get like i don't know 20 of them for a dollar the dollar store super cheap uh let's see most of the times so let's talk about study guides so some teachers will be like i don't do study guides just you know but if you have a teacher that does not do study guides more than likely they want you to go off the objectives of that chapter so you know before you read pretty much any chapter in a textbook it'll say you should know this by the end of this chapter or here are the core or key uh things to know in this chapter that's your um that's the chapter objective that's what they want you to know by the end by the end of reading this chapter they expect you to understand or know this so i'm looking for okay an example and i'll put it in my plastic sleeve and you can do that you can organize it so that before you even start that section that you're going in so this is looks like kidney maybe perhaps urinary system buffers acid liver it's like a combination okay so anywho make sure you print that out before you get into that section and these are all the course objectives of that section and then what i would do is i would put like little boxes on here on the side for each one and then so the first one would be identify and describe the structures and function of the urinary system including the kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra so you can take this one sentence and you can write it out onto a flash card so yeah you can take that and write it onto the back of a flash card get them from the dollar store get them from office depot wherever you can take that if you don't even want to write out the freaking Thing. you can take the time to cut these out and paste it on here if you got time for that or you can just write it out and paste it on here and then write all of your answer on here now some people would say like oh a flash card is not supposed to be like they're not supposed to put so much information on a flash card blah 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 it's up to you what's going to help you me i'm the type of person like the more information that I write down or that I study the more I retain because I feel like if I don't I would just at least grasp one of those things and remember one of those things out of like the 20 you get, I know it sounds crazy but I like to be kind of like I want to know as much as possible in order for me to see like the details of something I have to see the big picture so anywho you can take that question and so oh, or instead of writing it out if you're not into writing it out you could do one of these one of your little diagrams you can write out draw out the kidneys themselves and then draw out like okay 
draw out a little bitty kidney or you can cut it out you can uh, copy the one that's in the book already photocopy that um, or if you have a PowerPoint and you have the picture of the kidneys and it's already identified the certain sections of the kidney and it, it identifies the nephrons and the glomerulus and all that good stuff then you can take that put it onto your study sheets that way you have the visual and then you can write out what it's saying so it's saying identify and describe the structures that's this the functions you can write a little section right here kind of similar to what I said when you go through your body systems you write out the key functions and you write out the, the organs within that body system you put key functions of the urinary system so um, let's see we can go off of what's on here so it would be like elimination of waste, filtration. What else? Let's see what else is on here. Filtration. Uh, is urinary on here? Oh, here we go. Uh, blood volume and pressure regulation, control of fluids and electrolytes and acid base balance. So those and also waste. So those are the, you know, key functions in the urinary system. Well, guess what? If you would have made this in the beginning of the class, this is already in your mind before you even came to the urinary system. You already know the key functions of the urinary system because you've been studying this. You've been studying all the systems. So you already have a leg up on all the systems just by making this and using this to study. But anywho, okay, so you answered those two things. And then it says, including the kidneys, ureters, ur urinary bladder, and urethra. So you have the visual it's going to show you the structures and then the functions of the whole system you're going to write that out and then you'll have another section maybe writing out the functions of each of each uh component of the urinary system so what is exactly does the kidneys do what exactly does the ureters do and the urinary bladder and the urethra so you write out each of those and what they exactly do in this one sentence and it's done and that'll be your little one thing that you can have for the urinary system your one overview that's the first question and then like I said when you write out those little boxes on the side boom check it you already made you a study aid to help you out with that you got that done uh, let's see then there's certain things that you could probably that are smaller you don't might not have to write a whole like you might not have to draw like a whole study aid for you can just put it on a flashcard um, so describe the process of urination. You could probably just put that on a flat, a smaller flashcard, standard flashcard. Um, let's see. Describe the major fluid components in the body. You can put that on a flashcard. So with that being said, if your teacher does not give you a study guide, don't worry, don't fret. These are in the beginning of your books, or they're either um, this teacher sheet when she did her powerpoints she would have these like in the beginning of the whole powerpoint like she would have the key things that she wants you to know at the beginning of each powerpoint so when you study you know that if i know all of this then i should be good come test time it's going to take you a lot of time and effort to do it is i know it sucks but you're gonna get through it you're gonna pass a and p it's gonna be awesome you're gonna be so proud of yourself it's gonna be water under the bridge it's gonna be over with so i hope this was helpful um on this i think i was learning about um epithelial tissue specifically so this is part of the integumentary system and you're gonna come across epithelial tissue so much at amp so we start off with the key functions Remember, AMP is about anatomy as well as functionality of your body and certain components of your body. So, start off with the key functions on one part. That's like it's folded up like a brochure. In the middle part, I have, uh, so I'm talking about the structure of certain epithelial tissue. So we got squamous cells, and I call myself kind of drawing out squamous cells, cuboidal col columnar, and then I break it down. 
again and I talk about where you can find them in the body you see how I kind of drew it out versus writing it so sometimes there's certain things you can draw certain things you can write and you know that helps with visual people and also it saves time like because sometimes just just looking at words it's like it's just overwhelming so you got that and then on the back I talk about membranes and where they are located in the body and like the structure of them and the use of them so yeah that's a way of taking something within the system that's kind of long and complicated and has a lot of components to it and just breaking it up into one little study aid fold this up use it it's a little um brochure also something you can use these sleeves for is if you decide you just want to take everything that you have and throw it inside of here it's like a folder you can just carry that around with you and uh, study off of that so that's that that's all she wrote y'all another thing you can do is um, similar to what I showed you when I showed you that big piece of paper and I cut out all the, the muscles or the bones and it was all color coordinated you can just make simple flashcards like that too so this is the ear the inner ear see it it's kind of hard to see okay that's the inner ear I cut it out I cut out the picture from PowerPoint stapled it or you can tape it i don't know why i stapled it but i stapled it onto a flash card and then i had something else on this side too another visual but you can just have one on one side and be like the, you can ask yourself the question on one side and say describe the um structures of the inner ear name the structures of the inner ear and boom you'll say it to yourself and then on the other side it'll actually show you and that's a visual reminder and like i said looking at these photographs it's going to help you with labs because it's going to come back up in labs they use these same photos and these same this is the same like no matter what you do whatever a and p class you come in this is going to always look the same the way the ear looks it's always going to be look the same so it's going to help you because you're studying the material that you're going to have to actually test on and it's going to look the way it actually has to look when you test it when you're doing the test so that's that so you can also you can do the big one that i showed you or you can make it as into flashcards i think flashcards is fun you know they're small like i said i might do something for each body system uh, i'm not like the guru of amp i'm not a scientist i'm not like the best a and student but it is a subject that I'm interested in and I do want to become even stronger in because I am a nurse and you are always going to be working with the human body so you should know as much as possible about it so I might take the time to do that I need to because I need to study myself um but yeah these oh, this is what I did while I was in nursing school it's very helpful it's actually fun to look at this stuff and here I am now like I went to nursing school what been a nurse for two years i went and did this class the first time three years ago and i still have study aids that are actually really helpful and i wish i had them last time i was freaking in this class um but yeah i it's still here and if you make them nice you know you can keep using them so as an as a reference you know as a nurse you have to always keep your skills sharp so that's that let me know if you have any questions i hope that this was helpful um at the end of the day you have to figure out what works for you maybe what works for you is just sitting down and reading maybe what works for you is you know having a study group and talking to people going back and forth and learning about certain things that way maybe it's watching youtube videos that actually go through each and every way of learning something or it goes through like a, a long explanation that your teacher may not be able to explain to you as well as somebody on youtube can um, but what works for me is to make these little study aids and to use them. The thing about this is that you have to make these early on. You can't make them like the day before a test. You, this is something you need to make 
as you're learning the subject, as you're um, before the test, like a week before the test. And then it gives you time to, to study it before the test and to become familiar with the information. So that's that. Again, hope I was helpful. Um, I know this was a highly requested video, so I hope that it helped you all in some type of way. Um, but with that being said, you can be successful in AMP. It is possible. You can do it. Watch the first video and this video, and I think you should be good. All right, peace.